Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the memory corruption blue screen of death error in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration, as simple as it may sound, is to restart your PC. To do this press the Windows button, then afterwards click on the power icon and lastly select the restart option. After the PC will restart, you can then check if the problem still persists. And again, as simple as it may sound, this solution will fix many of these issues you're facing. Moving on, another great solution is to check for Windows updates. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, and afterwards make sure to click on Windows update on the left pane, and then on the right side, click on the check for updates button. Now wait until Windows will try to find the best possible updates for your PC, and then install them automatically. After installing these updates, just restart your computer and check if the issue still persists. In the same time, you can also run the troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button and select the settings icon, and afterwards make sure that system is clicked on the left pane, and then on the right side, scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and click on it. Now in here, select the other troubleshooters option, and afterwards scroll down until you find the program compatibility troubleshooter and click on the run button next to it. In here, make sure to locate the program that you think you have problems with and then press on the next button and afterwards Windows will try to find any issues and fix them as soon as possible. Afterwards, just restart your PC and check if the issue is solved. Another useful solution is to check the computer for memory problems. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Memory Diagnostic and then select Windows Memory Diagnostic from the search results. Now in here, what you have to do is click on the Restart Now and Check for Problems option and then wait until Windows will try to find any issues and fix them as soon as possible. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to scan the disk for any errors. To do this, just open an instance of File Explorer and then select the This PC option on the left pane, then right-click on the C drive and select the Properties option. Now in here, make sure to head over to the Tools tab and then click on the Check button underneath the Error Checking section. In case you'll get a pop-up notification that says you don't need to scan this drive, just make sure to select the Scan Drive option to make sure that you have no errors. Afterwards, just restart your PC and then check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to check for corrupted files with an SFC scan. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, type the following command. Afterwards, just press on Enter and then wait until the scan is finished, because it may take a bit of time. So don't lose patience. Then you can restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.